Hello Virgo, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first. As usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, <clears throat> we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not the universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of virgo for virgo's highest good please you know please show us what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is virgo currently doing on their summer journey what's coming up for virgo in the life and how is virgo currently doing on their summit journey let's see Virgo extra message very important you feeling sad this is you feeling sad heartbroken devastated I'm so sorry yeah this is you dealing with a lot of emotions at this time feeling a lot of regret hmm yeah it's worse than I thought this is Heartbreak, Three of Swords, this is you having a lot of regret. Something must have triggered you for you to feel all these feelings at once. So you have to go through this. Yeah, the universe is showing that you have to go through this because you've been trying to put these emotions, feelings on a back burner. You have to allow yourself to feel these to go through this before you can close that chapter that you're dealing with. Unhealed emotional wounds are popping up here. To have closure, you have to allow yourself to go through this healing period. And in order for us to heal, we have to deal with emotions, right? We can't deny them, right? Yeah. So something triggered you and... Um, you are feeling all these feelings, all this sadness, regret. I'm so sorry you're going through so much. Yeah, you feel defeated because the Six of Wands, which is excellent, is reversed. Uh, so you feel defeated. You feel disinterested. You feel unmotivated. Hmm. Something happened, Virgo. Yeah, you have a lot that you've been storing. A lot of sadness, regret, heartbreak that you haven't been dealing with, not allowing yourself to heal for some reason. Yeah, this is you. You've been trying to heal. You've been trying to forgive, but you really put it on the back burner, so to speak. A lot of it has to do with your childhood years. Yeah, a lot of unhealed emotional wounds that stem from your childhood. You see this? Toxic relatives showing up here. Mm. Virgo, I'm so sorry. This is a lot to deal with. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo and how is Virgo currently doing on their summer journey? Yeah, you, you feel you're not happy with your life right now. You feel unmotivated, unhappy, emotionally unfulfilled. You feel like something has to drastically, drastically improve for the better. Yeah much better this is you feeling that you can't go on like this uh, that you want to improve your life yeah yeah you see this is you realizing that you need to take some kind of action like you need to do something right yeah you can't just sit there wallowing in self-pity right because that's going to get you nowhere so you know you're going to have to make some changes in your life or your attitude or whatever you see magician this is you taking charge of your life oh who's this this is somebody new yeah you're holding on to the past too much virgo you're dwelling on the past too much yeah this is you holding on to the pain rehashing the past over analyzing worrying excessively you see this um when we do that we really prevent ourselves from enjoying life. Yeah. So, wow. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing on their summit journey? 
yeah this is you needing to go within to reflect to pause but don't isolate yourself at home because that's just going to cause you more sadness spend time in nature meditate pray yeah you really need to find your balance because you feel so unbalanced uncentered Yeah, you see this? This is you realizing that you're going to have to make some changes, that you're going to have to take some kind of action, be proactive, right? You don't want to be depressed. You want to be happy. Yeah. Somebody is entering your life, whether it's a friend, acquaintance, whoever, somebody or a soulmate, somebody's entering your life, somebody new. The soulmate you've been dealing with, you feel very disappointed that relationship is not working out. Uh, they do love you, but they kind of in and out of your life. You don't want to play mind games. You want someone who is steady, someone who is dependable, trustworthy, who commits in a healthy way. And they're showing up here like a Romeo, just a knight, not a king or queen, just a knight, knight of cups. Uh, they kind of used to coming and going as they please, not committing not communicating effectively you don't want that no this is making you feel even more upset because you don't want to play mind games yeah this is you trying to learn to be patient balanced balance your emotions balance your energy i am very curious who this king of wands is this is not the soulmate you've been dealing with yeah, the soulmate you've been dealing with disappointed you greatly. We're going to ask about them in a minute. Let's see. You've been dealing with a lot of emotional, um, unhealed emotional wounds from your past. Yeah, that you've been trying to kind of release, but you haven't forgiven. You haven't healed from it. You know, we show us... <clears throat> You really have been through a lot of heartbreak in life. Virgo, you're very strong, very resilient. So give yourself credit. Yeah, you've been through a lot, a lot of stuff. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. How is Virgo currently doing? <clears throat> yeah, this is victory after great struggles. you learning patience. you learning to balance yourself. You feel like you're stuck uh, in this never-ending puzzle. Wow. So two messages are showing up here. One, the soulmate that you've been dealing with, the Knight of Cups, wants to make amends with you. And another message is that there's somebody new entering your life. Doesn't mean you have to be with them for God. No, don't worry. Doesn't mean you have to marry them or be romantic with them. Remember, you have free will to say yes. You have free will to say no, right? You determine uh, who you're going to be with, right? Yeah. Let me see what's going on with that soulmate you've been dealing with, that Knight of Cups. <clears throat> I'm curious about that King of Wands. We're going to ask about that King of Wands in the extended reading. Wow. So the soulmate you've been dealing with is checking up on you. Yeah, they do love you. This is them checking up on you. But they only showing up as a page now. So they're used to this kind of wishy-washy behavior. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with. And how is, oh, this one wants to be extra. And how is that soulmate of Virgo towards Virgo at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah, they're not happy without you, Virgo. They're not happy with their life. This is them feeling bored, emotionally unfulfilled, not happy. Yeah, you guys have a very long-standing soul history together, going back many lifetimes, many incarnations it's like a karmic cycle showing up here, meaning soul lessons to learn from each other. Yeah, they do love you. Yeah, they really do. But they haven't really made you feel loved, which makes sense, because if you truly felt loved by them, <clears throat> you would be with them. They do love you. Again, 
<clears throat> Ten of Cups. But you see how their cup of love for you is smaller than yours for them? It doesn't mean they love you less than you love them. What it means is that they have a hard time um, expressing emotions in romantic relationships especially, committing, being consistent in someone's life, communicating effectively, listening. Oh, they're in shock. So the tower, something is shifting in their life. Thanks to you, Virgo. Yeah, thanks to you. This is the wake up moment. This is an epiphany. This is them realizing something of great importance that they couldn't see before. You see this? The tower moment. This is them seeing the truth. Universe, please show us. Which they didn't want to notice before. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with? They worry because they view you as available, not in a relationship with them. They have a lot of respect for you. They view you as very independent, emotionally, financially, not chasing them. Yeah. So again, this person is spying on you. Yeah, again for the second time. Knight of Cups on top of Wheel of Fortune. So this person is checking up on you, whether it's online. Uh, but this shows me physically, in person, they're checking up on you. Yeah. Trying to figure out what's going on in your life before they approach you, if they approach you. Yeah, the tower is showing up for the second time. On This time on top of Two of Cups, which tells me this person didn't uh, expect to fall in love with you. Yeah, they used to just mm, dating and coming and going as they please, not really committing, but they realize with you is different. They have feelings for you, real feelings for you, Virgo. Yeah, you see, this is what they used to, Knight of Wands, just coming, going as they please and charming people and not really committing uh, not feeling any sense of responsibility in relationships. And that has changed for them because they realized that they love you. They fell for you emotionally. Yeah. They've been waiting to see if you're going to reach out to them. Wow. This is heavy because the Wheel of Fortune is showing up twice and the Tower is showing up twice. This is a powerful reading with two major arcanas showing up twice each. <clears throat> this person is realizing that you are the real deal, that they can't just casually forget you and let you go like they did with others. There's a soul connection, soul contract that two of you have. Um, <clears throat> unfinished soul lessons that you're supposed to learn from each other. Yeah, they know they're going to have to be very courageous, master the courage to approach you because you are disappointed. Yeah, they know they're going to have to take action, be proactive. They can't just sit there waiting by the phone for you, Virgo, to reach out to them. This person loves you a lot, <clears throat> but they didn't behave like they do. Yeah, <clears throat> like they love you. Yeah, so hmm. Virgo, remember you have free will to decide who you want or don't want to be with. <clears throat> Whether you want this person, yeah, they're not happy about losing you. Look at this. Whether you want this person back, if they prove themselves to you through actions, of course, or new soulmate, the king of wands, you, you're going to decide for yourself. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with? You see, communication showing up here, unexpected communication Wow, look how much respect they have for you, Virgo. Viewing you as fabulous empress. Yeah, someone who is of high quality value. <clears throat> oh, they in love, but <laughs> they don't express it. This is hidden love, unexpressed love, unspoken love. And they're trying to figure out what it is you feel <clears throat> for them at this time because they're holding two cups, not one. And this is in subconscious position, which means that they don't like to feel so emotionally vulnerable. It scares them. Yeah, you guys are so connected. Look at this. The star part of the universe is holding your two souls. You guys have soul contracts. Yeah, unfinished soul lessons to learn from each other. Virgo, if you decide to completely let them go in this incarnation, uh, it's okay. Universe, respect your free will choices. 
but you're going to have to see them again future incarnations to finish the uh, soul lessons that you agreed to finish with them and they agreed with you, right? Hopefully by then uh, they'll be a little more mature. They won't be acting like a knight or page, right? Wow, Virgo, we're going to go into your extended reading. We're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate that popped up, asking of wands, which I love, by the way. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask, what are they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can't communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else <clears throat> you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the king of wands, energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Virgo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.